something that we've definitely had to cut back on. The farmers are feeling the weight of inflation. We just are really careful about where we spend our money. Gas, groceries, activities for the kids are all adding up for the family of seven. 25 to 30 percent more. Just as the holidays approach. And that's a big increase for a family of our size. But the farmers are still ready for a season full of sparkle because of a change they made years back. I'll explain in a moment. First, what Utahns can expect this shopping season. We have no savings. Yeah, there's a lot of consumer credit. Our wages are not keeping up with inflation. UVU finance professor Kerry Wozden says even though families have burned through cash accumulated during the pandemic, there is some hope for gift buying. The system is so built up with extra inventory, it's a serious discount. That's because stores have ordered too much and it's all hitting shelves at once. He says to watch for sales and expect them earlier. Walmart said the same thing. Target said the same thing. Don't be so stressed about getting a good deal that you end up overspending. Utah State professor Melanie Juke says it's especially important this year to make a list and check it twice, then look for ways to save. So instead of maybe hosting a big dinner, maybe it's a potluck dinner this year. Or, or maybe it's a dessert night. Next, create a budget and stick to it, even deleting those shopping apps. When you feel like you're done, stop looking. Stop shopping, stop spending more time at the stores. And don't go into debt this year. Those credit cards will be harder to pay off because of higher interest rates. Also, free up some cash by canceling subscriptions. Do you really need five different streaming services or can you do one for a few months and then change to another? Remember, some of the best parts of the season are free, like driving around to see Christmas lights, caroling, hot chocolate with friends, and free holiday concerts and pageants. Bottom line, you can keep the magic alive. Which is what the Farmer family discovered after Christmas changed forever 10 years ago. And he was diagnosed December 20th, so just a few days before Christmas. Hiram, now 17, was diagnosed with leukemia. So we had to rely a lot on just the community and the goodness of people. During the exhausting 148 weeks of chemotherapy, they were blessed by strangers. Provided us with gas carts, they provided us with groceries, people brought us Christmas presents, just like amazing people that we didn't know. Hiram is cured and doing great. The family now uses Christmas time to pay that generosity forward. This year, it's the Festival of Trees. My son is alive, and, and I want to celebrate that. In addition to serving others, the farmers also have this great approach. If you sit back and think about the Christmases that you remember, it's not the stuff you got. Instead of expensive gifts, focus on gifting experiences. It's not just enjoyed that day of Christmas, it's enjoyed throughout the year. Find activities kids already like or want to try, like lessons, event passes, and sports tickets, and you'll have a gift that keeps on giving. I get to have six dates with my son. Who gets to say that? And if you're tight on cash right now, you can create your own punch pass and pay each time you go, spreading out the cost. A little planning now and a change in focus could mean less stuff to store and a lot more lasting memories. For Christmas, for us, it means serving. It means family, and all those things can be accomplished without spending a ton of money. Just some great advice from that family.